So, and then we take the owl, remove all the aircraft carriers, and remove, we put some extra guns on it, like three anti-aircraft guns, and then we put the radar on it. And you see, the cool part is, what? Yes, yes, the radar, yes, it's supposed to attract the enemy to you to divert the enemy missiles. Yes. I mean, the way you say it, it sounds stupid, but I think it's a great idea, and it's coming from field command, so... Campaign number 11. I'm going to use the second save again, which is about at 37,280 money. I could use one with a lot more money, but I got used to this one. I don't want to um, have a save where there's um, so much money that it doesn't really matter compared to the choice that I made previously. So, 37,000. Okay. So first we set it to hard, and <clears throat> I've made a new variation of one of my ships. I made it based on a comment the player made, I think, two or three days ago, after, before I recorded this. Um, <clears throat> so he told me that, I don't remember the name of the player right now. I probably remember it when I, um, I'll check it later what name it was. Basically, I'm going to take this one, Owl A, Early Warning Ship. You can look at it right now and see what's going on with that. I'm going to explain in a moment what I'm going to do with that. So, the mistakes I made the last time was I had those honey badgers that had no bottom no bottom armor, like the new one, the MB. And I basically was just carrying them around, being too scared to use them in combat. So I'm going to avoid buying those. I'm going to just buy the two heavy ones, the largest ones I got here. Uh, where's the MB? There we go. Okay, now I want to have at least two of those. See, now I'm almost out of money. <clears throat> However, I also want to have a crocodile and a recon plane. So I'm going to skip the recon plane carrier. I'm going to uh, remodel my Sebastopol because if I split, um, if I sorry, if I if I remove some parts from honey from the um, Sebastopol right now, I can get another thirty, forty thousand out of it. And I'm going to remodel it a bit into an aircraft carrier for the recon planes. I'm going to buy a... Where's my crocodile? I'm going to make sure that during the campaign I'm getting many more cruise missiles or tactical missiles. I don't even have money for a crocodile. <clears throat> okay, now this is complicated. I might actually have to skip the crocodiles and just use regular conventional carriers this time. Well, I can skip one honey badger MB. Hmm. Well, I can take an MF Honey Badger and just slap some extra armor on it. Okay, this is a difficult choice now. Just want to try out this new owl. Uh, okay, let's see. What should I do? Let's look at the MF again. MF is the fast one. I, if I could slap some armor on the bottom, I would have some more survivability. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Badger MF. Now I got money for crocodiles. Okay, let's do it like this then. So first let me show you the new ship design. I'm going to turn off my radar. So okay, this is the this is this is the owl A. And a player told me in the comments he noticed uh, when I was playing previously. That I was good at shooting down missiles if they were shooting at just one ship and I had full control over the ship and I could just use anti-aircraft guns on them. So I thought I should maybe build a ship that's flying ahead of the fleet, that's good at taking out those missiles and attracting them. And then I modified uh, the OWL to fit that um, purpose. So I got here, I got three anti-aircraft guns. Got this radar system over here. It's, it's pushed away to the side so the cone doesn't interfere. And I think it looks really nice with this... Um, Diagonal um, strut. Well, it also has an island. The island is actually the main thing I'm going to use to detection. The radar is just going to be bait to attract missiles. And I even put a jammer on it. Now this cone is actually um, irritating me. Where's the cone red? I'm going to put it like this. Yeah, I think this one is better. 
So, okay, next we're going to remodel the Sevastopol. We're going to turn this into an aircraft carrier. Well, not really an aircraft carrier, just a bit, um, just having um, space for recon planes because they don't have an owl for recon. Going to lose some of the armor over here. But if my swap support has to step into the combat anyway, then most of the things are lost anyway, so there's no purpose to carrying all that armor around. <clears throat> I'm going to sell the nukes. I don't exclude using nukes later in the campaign. However, for now I'm going to sell it because I need the money. I'm going to build an aircraft deck. Probably needs a connection to the house. So I'm going to... Ah, wait a second. I have to make this look nice. Uh, this skateboard goes up here. <clears throat> Can't buy planes yet, so I'm going to sell that stuff. Okay, do I need Allen systems? Do I need the RST? Probably not right now. No, not sell, just exit, save the configuration. Oh, the MF honey badge, I'm going to increase its survivability to the ground a slight amount. It won't be able to sneak up on enemies anymore, but it's not that necessary for that one. Okay, so we got some pieces covered over here. Let's put one extra one over here. No, the flare launcher needs it, so okay, I'm going to leave it like this. This is my backup badger. <clears throat> so what I need to be really careful about is if I get too close to the enemies, even smaller ships, they have really powerful anti um, arm piercing runs. So one good hit in that area and it can sink my entire ship. So I gotta be really careful about that. Keep them at bay as long as I can. Got my crocodiles. You just need to get some fuel. So strategically, I'm going to get friendlies, the one with north, north of Ur, which is probably out here, because if it would be far away, we'd say north or far north. And I'm going forward fuel stations for extra fuel. And if I see an enemy strike group, my goal will be to send in my Owl A and soak up as many missiles as it can. And if it works well, the enemy will be out of tactical missiles, then I can send in my strike groups. Or I can directly attack them. I mean, if I catch them in close combat with good ships, which is very hard to do. Cruise missiles won't matter, but when you're approaching them and they detected you, then it can get nasty really quickly if you are if you get hammered by them. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is getting a bit more complicated and should. 124. But my combat ships, they are too slow to catch them. I mean, this one could catch them at... Yeah, I can try. I mean, I'm trading getting spotted for extra money. Yay. Yeah, you guys done? Come on, three hours. Well, 
I'm just going to fly back. Actually, I just noticed I could have flown it back with, the, with not the whole fleet. I'm just wasting fuel like an idiot. Just a tiny bit of extra fuel. It is really dangerous what I'm doing right now. Because strike groups are probably on their way to this point, to the first point in the, in the whole map. So yeah, that, that's going to turn into a problem really soon. I could wait here for a moment, see if a strike group comes past. If they park here to refuel, I could hit them with an R3 missile. Yeah, I'll actually do that. If it takes so long, I can speed up the video. Also, I'm not sure if strike groups actually get bored eventually from that signal and they actually don't pursue it to that point. Because I've seen strike groups just not come where they should go. Probably nobody coming up here. I'm going to send in when it gets dark. I'm going to send in a large honey badger. Yeah, I should get him on the ground. I need to uh, fight the impulse to get really close and hit them with a lot of guns because when their armor piercing ones start hitting, um, that that's not a good thing if they start hitting. Yeah, that looks clean. And nobody saw me. That's the important thing here. Okay, now, as people told me many times, the key to surviving campaign and having money is that stuff. It's like free money right now. Okay, first we're going to take a recon check. Should I land it? No, I'm too bored for it right now. And we get a free tar gun. First I'm going to exit just to get that recon so I know what's going on. Oh, okay, this guy's not coming to me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy's really close. I'm actually in his, in his... Oh, yeah, I'm way in his range right now. Yeah, this guy's going to be crocodile food. Um, like, right now. Okay. Fly a bit closer. Yeah, first we get the Tarkon. I wonder what the box populi thumb up, thumb down means, because it doesn't mean that the guy likes the answer. It does, I think, something with the, with the other stats. You take the pot. Yeah, let's re yeah, we can take that time. Do we have any um, airplanes over here? No, we don't. And we get a free gap out. Is the thing sure I modify that thing? Fire control radar. Okay, that's for the missiles. I need it. Like that radar costs, I think, 3,000. That's if it, would if it would strip out most of the guns, it's like half the ship cost. Um, oh, 437s. Oh, this one is good. I think it could use some armor, I think. Yeah, the engine doesn't look protected over here, so I'm going to put something on the engine. Okay, and those guys can get in for a refuel. 
But just for ser sharing the uh, excess fuel that might be lying around. It's not the best place to get fuel, but I need a fuel to get to. Because as you can see, both fuel storages are really far out, so I have to refuel like this. Getting some bombs, just in case I need them. Some rockets. Okay, I'm going to refuel and I'm going to hit the aircraft carriers. Okay, show me the aircraft carrier. It's this one. Yeah, good hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The enemy has been yep. <laughs> That's a good hit. Feels good writing them down like this. <clears throat> That's one good clean hit. The threat was removed. Should I go west? Should I go east? I think there's more stuff to get on the east side. And it's less of a bottleneck because if a strike group is um, sitting around here. But then again, more cities means more potential places for enemies. Oh, heat target. What the hell? Uh... Wait, where's that guy coming from? And what is he doing here? Okay, wait a minute. Is he coming out of nowhere like this? Is it a hidden city guy? Any case, we got spotted. Okay. <clears throat> Aircraft carrier group. Range 2000. I'm setting this uh, for new players who might be watching. This way you can mark um, its approximate radius of, of the action radius of a plane. When they want to attack you and have enough fuel to fly back. It's good to remember that by writing those things down because in the heat of combat later you might forget it. You know, we need to wait for night time. Really scared of using the big one, but the small one, uh, it's just the fear of using a ship that you um, you can't buy again. Okay, they spotted me early. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's still good. I should consider putting extra armor layers into those ammo compartments. It is scary using those ships because they can't replace them. Oof, and I got spotted. Come on, guys. Uh, let's take this one. Okay, so the entire fleet got spotted, so... Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to park my main fleet here, hop, hop away to the main fleet, get some fuel and send them over here. Trip box. Those are good things to carry around. Might need them for spares, but right now... 
Like Shem said, I got spare money lying around. Should really listen to player comments more in the videos and not react to them like eight episodes later. Uh, or eight seasons later sometimes. 